Yo, what's up guys? In the last video, we ended up actually playing a pro for a promotion game into GC2. We haven't played a GC2 player yet. He had not played any 1v1 games, but he happened to be a pro player. So we played obviously to, you know, his level. Went for some more advanced plays, but I think it's gonna get to that point now where we have to put in a little bit more work mechanically. We're getting closer and closer to SSL, and GC3 players are basically SSL players now when it comes to uh, 1v1, when it's that close, because you're playing a lot of pros. I think there's a lot of pros that we're gonna end up running into by accident who have not played any games of ones, because there's a lot of pro players right now that only play 2v2, and it's very common to see pros that are unranked or even GC in 1v1, so. It's very easy to run into a good player at this rank now. Let's get into the games though, and let's see how it goes. Guys, I was in queue for 30 minutes. I've been recording 30 minutes. So it begins. My eyes got tired. Almost fell asleep. Try to take control here. Again, drop it off my car, try to look for him. Gotta try to readjust now back to the actual GC2, GC1 players. Really good save, wow. Well done. Now this is where we try to look for some, some control here. He's gonna challenge, it's fine. I want up the challenge in a way that I can get the advantage every time, right? Looking for a bump there. How far did I bump him? It's pretty good. Notice how I'm always trying to single jump on every time I get that 50 opportunity. There we go, we found the opening. We're looking for the space, looking for a way around the opponent. There's so much space on the field, man. So much space on the field, and the second you start thinking about the field as more than just the net to score on, the game becomes so easy. Space around him right there. Space around him to the left again. And then if you're going for these touches and they, and they 50 you, the 50 is almost always favorable for you as well. There we go, just awkward enough for him to miss. Not the touch he wanted, he actually ended up on willing by accident. Nice little kickoff. Again, let's just look for the space. All the space left side. But why not? Let's go there. Go for this boost. And he just took that back corner, so all we gotta do is get a good 50 now. And then take another shot. It's gonna be over, but it's fine. But a panic. He's gonna be a little boost. If I take this boost, it's good. And now my goal here is to try to either A. Take a shot or hit it around him. And either way, it'll work out well. If I take a shot that he has to save, he's low boost. I'll get the next ball. If I hit it around him, even if it goes to the other corner, I win that boost. So many different options there. You messed up. I'm not gonna take the empty net. I'm gonna try to create an opportunity to again try to use the space that I have. Best of my ability, right? Look how simple these touches are and look how much damage they do. Almost every time. Ah, good bump, good bump. I think he was actually going for it. That was really well, well done from him. I had to save for sure. Obviously, if it was just a shot, but did a good job going for the bump. I'm gonna instantly jump for this. I don't think he'll expect it. I can hit it off the wall around him and then go for it myself. Good save. This boost should come back up. Just gonna wait on it. I'm gonna just go quick. That corner's gonna pop up now too. Hit the other corner, and again, now we're in this situation where I have both corners, and I know he's low. So he has to get a touch of some sort of panic touch, yeah. Gonna go again. I actually wanna bait him in to go again. He's not gonna go. He's going for back corner. We're just gonna pop up right now, yep. Okay, this angle. I'm just gonna drive into it, see what he does. Actually, just over him. I'm gonna drive into this one more time. He should panic jump it once I jump here. He's gonna freak out. Go to the other corner in a second, the mid boost him in. I'm gonna fake the flip, go ground. Try wind up the shot here. Nice. I'm not gonna go for some crazy flip reset there. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm gonna flip, then just go to the ground after. That was a good play. I picked my shot really well. Good job. Good usage of the space. Let's get into the next and final game of the video. Since the games are taking so long to find, I don't know if I'll queue for a second one after, if there's another forfeit, but this will be the last one of the video, most likely. Hmm. 
No way. We're playing someone named Squiggly, which I feel like kind of has to be a playoff of my name. <laughs> Common thing in a Rizzo says it a lot, Squiggly Muffins. Could be a Smurf as well, so we'll see. Flip reset. Flip. Try to take time on the shot. Always try to line up your empty nets. If you have an empty net, do not make the mistake of rushing it. Especially in ones you have more time than you think almost every single time, especially if they went for an all-in solo play. Try to keep that in mind. Messed up. I'm gonna go for just a touch to the corner. I don't think he'll be able to beat me to the corner boost with the momentum I'll get from it. We went for a flip reset, so let's go for one ourselves here. Good save. But you can see how it commits me so hard. This is like the first big solo play I was going for there. And it really does commit so much to go for that. I'm gonna keep him in my vision. Take a flick, see what he does. Good save. I'm gonna fake chow here. Fake again. Jump fake. Just gotta watch this flick. Big touch to the right here. I'm gonna just rip a power shot. Let's see what happens. See if he makes it back. I wanna see what kind of control he's got. I wanna see what kind of solo play he's gonna go for. He's taking a bounce dribble. Trying to go for this. Air drill bump type play. Good save. Play it as well, but I'm, I'm gonna go for like a really safe air dribble where I have 50 with the back of my car. And that means that I win the next boost as well. That's something you guys can practice trying to do. It's extremely safe. And again, try to use the back of your car. It's the most surface area. You're gonna have the most advantage on those kind of 50s. Really basic way to save that. I'm gonna fake them and go quick to this. Yeah, and then I'm I'm pre-going to the left there. You see me turn to the left a little bit because he is going that way. But I also know that he's gonna panic a bit because I'm going pretty fast to that ball. So there's a pretty good chance that he does miss as well. Good to keep both of those things in mind. Good shot, good shot, good kick off. This is the problem with ones though, guys. The Q times, once you get higher up, it's really hard to find a game. There's not many players that are high rank in, in ones. It's the hardest mode for sure to get the highest rank in, but there's not many players that are actually uh, high rank in it. So I get a reset. And let's not use it at all. Let's just go ground. Yeah. Really, really clean setup there though. I should probably make it a little less clean until we get into the GC3s, but. The idea is not to commit yourself. Like going for the flip reset there is really good, but if I commit on actually trying to hit the flip reset perfectly, it's not as good. It instantly becomes not as good. Try to use our space to the left here. Good demo. It's gonna be a goal. Good save. I'm not gonna jump for this. He's probably going to jump to this to beat me. And yeah, I forced him to panic, and it's the same situation where I'm already like pre-positioned to the side. And I know that he's probably gonna jump in some form to go for a touch to try to beat me to it. So I'm pressuring something which forces his touch. Whether the touch comes through or not doesn't matter. I'm ready for both options because I'm not committing. Same thing here. Let's go for a reset, but let's not actually use it. Touch toward the net and then not use a reset. Let's let it bounce and it's gonna fake him. Almost every time it will fake him. One of the best things to practice. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys about just not committing on the play, right? You're threatening so many options. I can flip here, here, here. I can pinch it on the ground as well. I don't do any of those things, just gonna bounce straight in. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna end there just because the games are super hard to find right now. But I think there's a lot of valuable information in both those games anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry about the games being short. I'm gonna just queue more another day because right now it seems like there's nobody on at this rank. But there you have it. We're GC2 Division 3. We're getting close to the SSL status that we're always aiming for in these series, of course. And we haven't lost the game yet. so. Pretty good stuff. Hope you guys have been enjoying. If you guys do like the video, be sure to leave a like down below and also leave a comment your thoughts on the series. Also, guys, I'm streaming every single day over on twitch.tv slash squishy muffins. If you guys want to support me over there, I live stream every day for five or six hours between 11 a.m. to like 5 p.m., 6 p.m., anywhere between that time, you can catch me. Love you guys. Thank you so much for all the support. See you all in the next one. Peace.